Hi, this is Angie Stewart from Mia Inner Light and Kardec Radio. And today we are going to talk about teenagers' suicide. Yes, very difficult subject and very important. I will be talking based on these two books. So this is Suicide by Richard Simonetti, and it talks about all you need to know about the causes and consequences of suicide. The other book is The Spirit's Book by Alain Kardec. That's the philosophy of uh, spiritism. So first we need to talk about uh, numbers. So the World Health Organization tells us that every year 800 thousands of people kill themselves. It's one suicide every 40 seconds. It's a huge number. And in Japan, the kids who kill themselves are actually from 9 to 11 years old. So they are very young. Why? Because in Japan, there is this pressure for perfection. The kids have to be always outstanding. And we know there are kids that cannot perform as good as their parents want, but there, when this happens, is really terrible. The families kind of push them away. They feel so horrible that they only think that a suicidal is the only escape. And in the U.S., it's a little bit different, but there are many, many other motives for teenagers killing themselves. I will tell you five only. The first is depression. It's a huge problem. People do not believe depression exists, and depression is an issue in your physical body. You need medication. You need help from a psychiatrist to help you to boost your energy levels, to bring you back to normality. But also sexual, the second, sexual repression or prejudice. It's a huge problem too. The low self-esteem is the third. The fourth is like a girlfriend or a boyfriend breaking up and this teenager cannot bear this pain and he thinks killing himself, himself, herself would be better. And the last one is the not acceptance by a group, bullying. So these five issues are the biggest causes. But what are the old and the new causes for not being able to deal well with this? Well, the first one I, ad I identified is that in the past, only the father worked. Nowadays, the mother also works. So in the past, the mother used to be home when these children, when these teenagers arrived, and she used to have more of a dialogue. She could understand a little bit better the son of the daughter. Nowadays, the second issue is that we are so busy. We are together at night having dinner, but or each person takes their dish and go away, or they sit together, but they are on the cell phones, on the computer, watching TV, Netflix. So the parents and the children, they barely talk to each other. This is very, very bad. The other thing is that uh, sometimes there is a, a, dis a misunderstanding, some kind of fight, some kind of issue, and it is not fully resolved. So the parents don't actually talk to the teen about that. So there is that kind of anger that stays with the parents, but it also stays with the teenager. The problem is that the teenagers, they already have this natural tendency to closing within themselves. And this is not good because instead of uh, talking to the parents, they will talk to their friends or they will just not uh, talk at all. So this is another big, big issue. And uh, two other things that I think are very important is the lack of uh, belief or religion. 
not necessarily that uh, someone who has a belief is protected, but uh, when uh, you have a belief, when you have some kind of religion, you will have a priest, a pastor, a counselor, someone that you will be able to open up and talk about issues that you can't talk with your family. And the last one is really the lack of understanding that uh, there will be life after death. Yes, this body will die, but the spirit will live forever. So when we kill ourselves, our pain will remain because we will wake up. And the same problem we had here will remain there. The difference is that we will be far from everybody we loved because we return to the spiritual realm before the proper time. So these are all big issues that we have to, to try to deal with it. And uh, also it's important to mention that uh, because I'm spiritist, people must be thinking, but is it uh, related to a past life? Yes, it could be. It could be that in a past life you killed yourself and then in this new life you have the sensation, the desire to repeat the same mistake. It could be. The second one is that it could be an old enemy from a past life that is trying to make you to commit suicide. So you will be in the spiritual realm with him so he can fight with you more but most of the times it is connected with our time by the reasons i mentioned before but what can we do there are many therapies that we can uh, we can do i already mentioned the first one of the doctor for depression because depression could be could cause also suicide but another thing is, let's suppose a negative thought comes in my mind and starts driving me crazy. Change it. Change it immediately. So if you are crying desperately because of that girlfriend or that boyfriend, think that the girlfriend or that boyfriend, they are not worth it because there will be hundreds of other handsome guys and beautiful girls that will want to date you and they will love you. Maybe not now, today, but you have to have patience. You will meet this beautiful person sooner or later. I wrote so I cannot forget. It's also important that uh, when you're feeling like this, if you have a friend, call that person. Don't let it for tomorrow, call that person. If you don't have anyone, call the suicide hotline because there is the service all over the United States and in many, many other countries. You can just call and there will be someone to be able to guide you, help you and listen to you. This is important, listen to your pain. Another thing, that uh, if you know spiritism, if you know a spiritist center, in these places there are many free treatments that you can go. You can have the healing passes. Healing passes are called the Reiki in the US, for example, but this is free in the spiritist centers. You can have energized water. It's a special water that will be like your medication. You can have group prayers, a group of people that will be praying for your well-being. You can have a fraternal counseling, will be a conversation with someone that will be able to help you, to give you some guidelines. And there also, there are centers that have spiritual treatments. So these spiritual treatments, you can do from your home and they will benefit you. But most of all, there are lots of ways that you can study and you can understand what happened after you die and what are the differences when you kill yourself and when you actually died because your time arrived it's a huge difference and you don't want to do that so the last thing is that you have to remember that you are an eternal being 
you are eternal spirit and this body is just right now you will have many other bodies but uh, remember whatever reason you are in so much pain that you want to quit you want to end your life don't do it even if you don't understand even if you don't believe god is our mother and father and if you could take one minute to practice a very short meditation if you could silence yourself elevate your thoughts to god and ask for help you will receive it believe in yourself you are worth it and you are loved god bless you